Now, I'm sure you will learn about the hotel in Brighton going up in flames as various county fire departments battled to put it out. This was an almost 200-year-old hotel called the Royal Albion. It was part two grade listed, so an important building that now stands guided and half collapsed. This hotel was ran by the Britannia Hotel Group, who, as we know, signed a contract with the government to house illegal immigrants. That means there's a very good chance this seaside hotel was housing various doctors, engineers and rocket scientists, because so far not a single tourist I can find has actually claimed to be inside it. In fact, what's really strange about this is not a single news outlet provided any video interviews with people in the hotel, which is usually the first thing they do. Surely the holiday makers would all be outside the building while it burns having run for their lives leaving their belongings behind but despite reading 10 articles from major news outlets not a single one even talks about the people in the building which once again makes me think it's a migrant hotel this would also explain why the fire started on the fourth floor around dinner time because the illegal immigrants are known to use gas camping stoves in their room. Of course, I don't know any of this for sure, but the fact the media have omitted any talk of the occupants that I can find says to me it's got to be illegal immigrants with the media lying about it by omission. This, as you know, they do daily and are likely doing here, so it really wouldn't surprise me. Pan the pan the pandemic. Where are